right, what is going? Oh, that's a bad start. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird something in my throat right there. <laughs> Hello, lovely ladies. Why is that like LT five forty three J? That's a random Zong. What up? Um, should I follow? Should I follow? Is there an open one? Oh god, I want to play Zong. Oh, Zong, please. Zong, please. Kick my ass. I'm in a weird position where I just, I have not been able to play anything as much as I want to. Like, I have, I remember talking about a library of games that I wanted to play that I've had sitting on the back burner for, like, months. And I talked about that months ago, and I still haven't gotten to that stuff. And more stuff has just been piling on top of it, but like right now, the major ones. Should I pick? I should not pick. He deserves my best. Um. But so like, right now the big ones, obviously we have Blaze Blue right here. I want to, I want to be good enough with Susano to be able to play him against a good Carl and see just how badly I get fucking destroyed if I don't get the first hit. <laughs> and then on the flip side of that, um, Marvel, the other fighting game, like, I played, oh, damn, that homie's played a lot. Um, played a ton of that back when it was out, back when it was first out, back when it was popular, and then, but I haven't seriously played that game in, like, two years. So I'm very bad at it now. I have a lot of recovery to do regarding my knowledge, my muscle memory, character matchup stuff, Everything I need to recover, so I'm, I'm bad at that. Final Fantasy 15, I'm bad at that. Pokemon Sun and Moon, I'm bad at that. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good antsy. Yeah, that was just a terrible jumping on my part. Help, 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 help. Fuck that. Get off me. No, what the hell just happened? Oh, I don't know what happened. I should have known that was a cross up. Thankfully, his doll is dead. What? No, oh, I shouldn't have bursted. I should not have bursted back when I did, because I just got fucked. His doll was dead the entire time, and he still fucked me. That call out Ancier. Whoa, where the hell was my normal? Oh shit! Oh my god, and that confirmed Carl, please! Oh, I have no meter. I'm smart. I'm good at this game. I couldn't fucking thank God. I couldn't tell if he was gonna go behind me. What the hell do I do? That 5A didn't hit? Are you so okay? At least that at least that was that was a good fucking instant block. I should have recognized that he instant blocked and I didn't get to do anything. Nailed it. Oh fuck. That <laughs> crossed me up. That call out, I can't do anything! <laughs> fuck, I'm so rusty. God damn it. He handed me my ass. Ugh. What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? Because the thing is, like, I know, I have not, I don't think I've played this game. Let me actually check. Let me hop over here really quickly. I want to see, because the last time I played this was the last time I recorded it. I haven't played it in between. So when was the last? November 29th, so almost two weeks ago was the last time I actually played this game. And so, like, obviously my Susanoo's nowhere near where I would need to be to compete with somebody like Zong. Um, it's unfortunate. I, I should figure out, because I really don't know... I don't know how the American scene is doing in terms of like, because I know, like, all of my knowledge is three years old, right? Like, 
I used to know the entire PNW, the Pacific Northwest crew, you know, up in kind of like Washington area. I don't know if that still exists. Um, I used to know the entire NorCal scene. I don't know if anybody that I used to, like, play with and that I knew back then still goes to NorCal events. Like, I know they still happen, but I don't know if I even know anybody that still goes to those. I don't know if SoCal scene exists. Texas used to have a pretty solid scene. I don't know if that is still a thing. Like, I don't know anything about this game anymore. Fuck! That was bad, yeah, that was... What?! Shit! Fuck that doll! Fuck me! Was that- if that was a reaction? Holy shit! I am in tr I am in trouble! God damn it! I'm not- I'm not familiar with that overhead yet. Oh, that was a straight punish. Alright, so let's never do that again. Most people don't punish 3C. They don't know how negative it is. Oh shit! Oh shit! Is there gonna be- is there gonna be an- There it is. That was an unblockable, you motherfucker! Yo, fuck this character. This character's fine! Fine! God damn it. That was cool. That was not what I, I wanted the forward dash and then get it. I didn't get the forward dash. Alright, here we go. It's my opportunity. My chance. Fuck! I fucked my chance up! Asriel, why am I hitting buttons? Why did I think that would disappear? Oh my god! That one little thing. Oh fuck! Why am I jumping? Please don't confirm that. Damn it! I cannot believe I didn't get over that. Fuck everything. Come on! I even reacted to that! Shit, alright, let's never do that again. I'm never doing that again! I don't know if maybe I did it late, cause I think if properly timed, doing that gives you a meaty. I think. If you, cause if you just, if you just do Gustav, usually it leaves you out of range. It leaves you at like a bad range, not even a good range. Um, and so you want to forward dash and then Tiger knee cancel it. And I think if done with the proper timing. It either lands or it gives you a meaty. I don't know which. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Like maybe that's just maybe that's entirely incorrect, and I need to just stop doing that. Because I know you can also. This is because the thing that I'm hoping when I do that is to catch backwards rolls. Because if you just do a sentinel dump afterwards, they can back roll and get straight out of it. Um, if you try to do like you can dash forward and then jump cancel that and then do an instant air dash backwards roll gets you straight out of that it doesn't matter um and so i think that would catch backwards rolls but now i'm kind of questioning whether or not it's if it's because that was punishable god damn it i wanted the growler that and then he fucking hit me god i almost reacted to it that time yeah, I'm not, I'm not teching throws against Carl. That's not gonna happen. I'm too scared of every- literally everything else. What the hell hit me? Like, what popped me up? Was that actually- I'm trying to be careful of the doll. Oh shit! Good fucking blocking. I just I have not been able to mix this dude up at all. Granted, I haven't really done much mix up because I haven't had much of an opportunity. Like I keep fucking up my setups, and that ruins any opportunity. I did not want to dash. That kid. Okay. I need to recognize that that has armor and that I shouldn't be doing that. God damn, I thought about teching there, but I just... 
Like I said, man, everything else Carl has is just too scary. Damn, I tried to confirm that. I was too late. God, he covered it! That... I'm mean, like, everything he's doing is good, but it's like... Fuck! Everything he's doing is, like, good and smart, but, like, if it's actually what happens, what I'm, what I'm analyzing it to actually be, like, throwing that move out and then covering it with, uh, the fucking projectile clap doll thing, whatever the fuck it's called, baited me so perfectly into that, like, Oh, yeah, yeah, you're kicking my ass. These probably aren't even fun for you. Thank you for giving these people entertainment, potentially. But, like, goddamn. <laughs> this can't... I mean, it's never fun to just, like, hand somebody their ass on a silver platter. I am nowhere... Like, the last time I played this dude was back in Chrono Phantasma. And I used Tager back when I fought him. And that was back when I was in a place of, like, actual goodness. I was actually good at the game. I'm not good at this game right now. And so it's not really fun for somebody who is, like, legitimately good to just blow up somebody who isn't, you know? But yeah, so, like, uh, just throwing something out and making me be like, oh, shit, it's my turn. And then I get fucking hit by the clap. Oh, my God, if that was actually intended to be a bait to get me into it, it's fucking brilliant. And I hate it because I fell for it so easily. This character, I need to use Azrael's DP more, I guess. Oh shit! God damn it. Yeah, that's that's too good of an answer here to be uh God I can't believe that reached me. Fuck that up! God damn it! Yeah, he's, real, he's so good at it, like that. Fuck! <laughs> That's unsafe, I get to play. Nope, he has a doll! Fuck me. Oh my god, that's so- Like, did that get incre- Oh, I thought I even- I even thought I blocked that. Nice confirm. Oh <laughs> shit! God damn it! I should not have lost that. I tried. I. God damn! I just. I shouldn't have lost that. There's no excuses there. I should not have lost that. That should have been mine. I cannot believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that's blockable now. I mean, that used to be a command grab. I can't, like, that's catching me at every turn. That is also hitting me at every turn. reacting to everything so I didn't think for even a fucking second that was gonna touch him <laughs> and then it hit god damn it god damn it that fucking overhead Yeah. 
Oh! Oh my god, that was so many. That didn't hit! That didn't combo! Come on! Give me something, man! I'ma just chill. I'ma just chill. Fuck this. I want my burst back. I'm in blocks. I'm in blocks on the. That is so much blocks on. Come on. Ah. <laughs> that is armor. Enough with the armor. Oh shit, I'm fucked. That's not even gonna work. That worked! Why did that work? <laughs> I was just spamming. Spamming Scud Punishment. That's what I wanted, because Scud Punishment has invincibility to it. I thought for a second that was gonna have, gonna have all that wind up, and his doll was just gonna fucking clock me right around the ears. Oh my god. Oh man, fucking Carl, man. Is that that name seems familiar, right? Is that the? I think that's the bang player that bodied my business multiple times, right? I think, I think, like not even the bang player. Like he just, he just straight fucked me with like five characters in a row. I'm pretty sure, cause like I haven't played enough games. In this game, I haven't played enough matches in this game to, like, forget who i played. <laughs> like, that's how few matches I've played. So I'm pretty sure this is the dude where I just joined a lobby and he would just pick, like, five characters on me and destroy me with all of them. Granted, I also think I was using Susano. Shit. Fuck, that's a... Native frame trap. All right. Did that seriously? What is this, Street Fighter Five? Get it? Cause there's anti-air jabs and shit. That was a bad burst, by the way. Fucking goddamn it! I shouldn't have hit a button. I blocked. I blocked that cross up. I don't know why that hit me. I don't think it should have. Wow, okay, yeah, I can't hit, I don't get to hit anything in between that. Shit, that was a whiff punish, too. God damn it, his pokes are so fast in comparison to mine. Yeah. I keep trying to, I keep trying to fuck with him, and I, I, I and now I'm talking and I'm not paying attention to resets. Yep, I can't fuck with him. I don't know why I keep trying. My, yeah, I'm dead. That has enough, uh, minimum damage on the last one, I'm dead. Damn. Mm. I just, I am not at a level, like, I'm at a level where, well, I should say this, I am at a level, and Asriel is the type of character where I can steal games off of somebody, anybody, but I'm not at a level yet where I can play people who are good with their, ooh, who are good with their characters, and we're just good players in general, uh, to be able to beat them consistently. And I want to be like I want. That's that's my biggest thing. Is like I, I I never cared enough to become like what I would say tournament ready. And when I say tournament ready, I mean like I'm practicing for hours every single day. My execution is perfect. I'm not dropping any of my shit. I'm not 
fucking up hit confirms. I know my matchups. Um, that, you know, all of that. I've never been there. I've never been there. I've gone to tournaments and I've played in tournaments, but I never went in thinking I, like, I'm actually, it would be nice if I won this, sure. But I'm not expecting to. I'm not going in thinking I'm the best person in the room and that if I lose, I really truly need to analyze what I need to do better and how to better learn the matchup. Like, I already know all that shit. I know what I need to do better. I need to play more. <laughs> Pure and simple. But I always, you know, like, I, I want to be that gatekeeper status where you're good enough to compete with anybody and you blow up people who aren't tournament ready yet themselves, but you're not really that great either. And that's where I'm at. That's where I want to be. That's where I've always been comfortably. What the hell? How did I get... I'm tripping out right now. <laughs> nice back dash, Nate! Darn, so close. Oh, okay, we'll just not tech. That didn't catch the roll, really? Oh shit! That could've gone poorly. Damn, I even tried to answer here. Damn, I'm stupid! This is what this is one of the big things. Like, if you ever wonder, oh god damn it, I fucked that up. He should he would have been dead. Because the minimum damage. I mean, they actually, they nerfed the minimum damage. Of I'm actually scared right now. I don't have this act. Okay, good. I was scared like I wasn't recording for a second. I am all over the place. Oh, shit! Nice, nice low. I mean, actually, he doesn't get anything for either of those, does he? Oh, I really think it's a block. Okay. Good to know that was an interesting look. Fuck. Okay, that does combo. Alright, so I'll get hit by the low every... So I'll choose getting hit by the low every single time. Hmm. I feel... I keep feeling like I'm switching... Because I, was, I wasn't low blocking the entire time. But I felt like I switched in time to have blocked that. But obviously not. I need to get better about second throws. That's a lot. Okay. I should be dead. I'm not dead. Do I get to get out of blocks anytime soon? Okay, so that's just straight- okay. Alright, that was punishable. He just straight up punished that. I should be dead. Yep. Good shit. I shouldn't have lost that. I really shouldn't have. I, I just- I kept running into things. Also, what I've been meaning to say this entire time. One of the big problems that you never really think about- I mean, like, I play completely on a completely different level. Not to say that, like, I have hugely different levels right now, but- it's very different when, like, you're sitting here and you're focused and you're just playing versus recording. Because recording, I'm trying to say things, I'm trying to react to moments, I'm trying to kind of explain certain things. And so I got caught at least twice just in the middle of trying to talk about something. And, um, and he just hit me with a reset that, like, if I had been actually actively paying attention, it shouldn't have happened. But I was not. I was trying to talk and say some stuff, and instead I got blown up by it. So it's that kind of thing that, like, it kind of leads to losing matches that otherwise you really should not have. This is good. I like. I'm, I like playing against good players. 
Because, like, I'm not getting completely destroyed to the point where it's, like, it's so fast that I don't even recognize anything. I don't even learn anything. What the hell is that? What is, does it go? Does that shit go away? Does that shit ever go away? I was paying... I See, like... I mean, this is, another, this is one thing, you know, again, about learning matchups. I'm paying more attention to that fucking electricity shit. I did not mean to roll backwards. God damn it. I just ate. I'm still eating damage. I just ate 3,600 for an accidental roll. All of that. I just got perfected because of one single accidental roll. You never, you never want to roll in the corner. It's like the worst possible thing you could do. Oh, okay, so that's just free. <laughs> that is also just free. That has incredibly stupid active frames. I mean, yeah, like, there's... What the fuck can I do? I should have growled that. I should have growled that. God damn it, that's just safe? That's just... I, I, I need to learn... Like, there are certain characters where, like, you really... You can't get away with trying to just freestyle it. And that she's one of them, apparently. Like, I have no concept whatsoever of what kind of hit stun she has or block stun. Hit stun any of it. I don't know what she has on any of her shit. And so I'm thinking, like, this is an overhead, right? In every... For every other character... Does anybody have an overhead that is not unsafe? Or at least, I shouldn't say unsafe, but at least negative. And so, like, it's your turn, but I, I tried to, like, I blocked that. And I'm pretty sure I even instant blocked it, if I remember correctly. And so I was like, alright, it's my turn, let's go in. And I tried to Gustav, and I didn't even start getting forward momentum before I got smashed with another one. Fuck that all up! DP there would have been nice, but I guess I'll just take all this damage instead. That's fine! I didn't react in time. Hmm. I should have expected that. I don't know why I did not expect that. Of course, like, that low health, that much danger, of course, I'm going to be trying to go in and trying to do mix-up. And of course, he's going to want to avoid that like the plague. What? Okay. So, if I'm perfectly honest about this, you can say the same thing about Asriel's 5BB as well. I hate shit that you can mash safely that auto-corrects itself for you. I hate it, I've always hated it, and I just got blown up by it three times in that match. But this is all, I mean, this is all, actually, this is a problem, like, I shouldn't be playing this guy. Because, like, he's good, and usually that's, these are the kind of people that you want to play. But these are the kind of the people that you want to play in a single matchup consistently so that you can learn that matchup rather than just like... They just keep switching characters and so like anything that you think you analyze, anything that you think you learn, you don't get to put it into practice. This is why playing ranked is a terrible idea. You should never play ranked if you're trying to learn. 
Unless you're just working on your own offense, because then you just run that all day and you don't have to give a shit about what the other person is doing. But if you're trying to learn matchups, if you're still not solid on your matchups, playing in an environment like ranked, where you just get one match and you're done, it's one of the dumbest things you can do. And my phone is ringing. Except it's the uh, unknown. Shit, that was a bad idea. Oh, that's that's cool. Shit, I shouldn't have get, gotten hit by that. Huh? Shouldn't have gotten hit by that either. Oh, is that safe now? I really wish that's three times I've been playing against this dude and I've DP'd in a position where it would work but I just I guess I did the motion just a tiny bit too slow That was stupid of me. I wasn't paying any attention to his meter. I can't believe I didn't hit that. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm done playing this guy. There's so much inexplicable shit happening right now. Why? Why is everything I do that I react to and that I react to properly coming out just late enough that it doesn't work? This is bullshit. God damn it. I'm so angry about that. There's really... There's no... Okay. You're a fighting game that's not going to put GG's like at the very top of the available shit. Oh, he's still playing. He abandoned me. He doesn't like me. He doesn't love me. This is though why I kind of hate playing in here. Because like everybody's so busy playing. But yeah, but like about that... But just the 5B not coming out in time to actually hit him and get the win. The uh, DPs, like me doing DPs, me noticing. Oh, Twitch Tourney, I guess I'm probably. That sucks. That's a four bar connection, but that person probably is not playing. Damn it. Actually, it's probably been. Yeah, it's been more than long enough for a video. But yeah, it just. It absolutely sucks when you're in something like that where it's like. The connection's fine. Except for when you need those split second moments. Except for when you need to instant block something. Except for when you need something to come out in a frame tight window. Like all that kind of stuff. Then the connection just rears back and fucking knocks you down and ruins your day. Um, yeah, did I, I didn't even win. A, no, I did. I won that one single match against Zong. But I mean, that's what I get right now. I'm not, like I said, I just, I haven't played. And I've been splitting all my time between, even the times that I have been playing, I've been splitting my time between Tager and Asriel and Susano. And, I mean, Tager's just, Tager's done. I hate Tager in this version. Like, it even showed against that dude. Like, all of Tager's weaknesses, it's just, I should have, I should have blown him up for free. But I fucked up everything. And I really need to work on, because like, that last match against Zong that I actually won. Like, I don't think I deserved to win that in any way, shape, or form. I should have lost that. He definitely... I got I got incredibly lucky. There's no other way to put it. But, I feel like I actually... Because, like, I'm playing against a dude that I respect. I'm playing against somebody that I want to do well against. I'm playing against a good player who, like, forgetting everything I just said. Playing against a good player, I want to represent myself well uh there regardless of whether or not i know who it is and so like i really kind of hunkered down and focused and i would have done the same thing if that dude had continued picking bang because like i was saying earlier 
That is the optimal way to learn the game. Is just sit down and play sets with somebody. Play first to fives, first to tens. Play as long as both of you can stomach. And just force each other to adapt your offense around each other. Finding holes in each other's offense. Finding holes in your character's abilities. Knowing what things to punish on reaction. And what things that you don't get to do anything about. All that stuff is so vital to learning the game. And so that's why playing against somebody like that. Forgoing any potential connection issues. Forgoing anything else. Just the fact that he is basically just playing roulette with which character he's going to use, that's not useful to me. Because right now, all of the majority of my issues, I'm not going to pretend like my execution is perfect. I'm not going to act like I don't have work to do on my own end uh, for, you know, like optimizing combos and optimizing setups, all this. Obviously, I need to work on that. But the biggest thing that I need right now is matchup experience so I can fight against characters that I am comfortable against defensively and in neutral so that I can put my own offense to the test in an environment where I'm not just constantly questioning what the other person is capable of at that moment in time like I, I want to know what they're capable of so I know what my options are and all that shit and so playing against somebody like that who is just constantly switching characters is just really not useful to me at this moment in time because I want to learn matchups first and foremost that's my biggest thing right now and but god damn it if it's not angering so because i have been losing now granted i have been playing some incredibly good players like i have not played i wouldn't even say i've played an average player in the past uh basically since i've gotten this game everybody i've played is pretty much at least anybody that i played more than for like a single match has been really damn good and I've been getting blown up, and that's not fun, but I just, I haven't had the time. Holiday season is the worst for me in terms of my time, because work gets more and more hectic. Um, obviously, finals ramp up. Finals for me are done now, thank God that's over. Um, I shouldn't say thank God that's over, because they were actually really easy for me. The most stressful thing, let me actually check this shit out. One of my classes right now, I am sitting, so, it was a computer science class, um, discrete structures if any of you guys have taken it and damn it he still hasn't he still hasn't graded stuff so it's it was basically if i could describe the class in one short short sentence it's basic it was essentially an online class that i just so happened to have to attend lecture for in person like everything we did was online we never turned anything in on paper everything all of our quizzes our tests our homework our labs everything was done and submitted online and so there's a bunch of stuff that he needs to go through well not a bunch of things i think it's down to three um three different things yeah two tests and one thing a homework that he needs to go through and like grade manually because there was stuff like either it was um like i think one of them had a question where you wanted it, it was based on probability and so you wanted to actually describe why something was true rather than it just being like a multiple choice is this true is this false whatever you had to describe why something was as it was described and so he has to go through those and grade those manually the homework was um submitted using a program and he has to go through that manually um anyway so there's three assignments right now and i am sitting on 90.35 percent I've never been in this position before. Well, I, I shouldn't say I've never been in this position before. I've been in this position before once, and that was in trigonometry. I was at, uh, I was at a 90 point something, like a very low 90% grade. My own fault, but I can point towards three specific instances for the reason why I did not get an A in that class, but that's neither here nor there. I was sitting at a very low A, and um, so... I figured out exactly what grade I need, what grade I needed to get on the final, in order to get an A in the class, which was an 88. I needed an 88 percent or higher to uh, get an A in the class, and I fucked up two problems that both use the same. It was if you've been through trigonometry, uh, the double angle formula. So like um, cosine of two alpha or co uh, sine of two alpha, whatever that all, all that shit is. I switched them around in my head and I applied them incorrectly but the problem is that they both got to a satisfactory answer like I there wasn't a point where I was just stuck and couldn't figure out what to do they both concluded 
with giving me an answer. So I was like, all right, cool, I got that, I did that right. Both of those problems were worth eight points each. I got, and the, the entire test was worth 100 points. So I got an 84 instead of an 88. I got like an 89.8% in the class or some shit like that. Entirely my own fault. But that's the only time I've ever been in a situation like this before where my grade was kind of undecided going in. And so I'm sitting here, this dude has three assignments left to, uh, to grade. And I'm sitting on a 90.35%. And I'm just staring here like, has he graded them yet? Has he graded them yet? What about now? Am I getting an A or am I getting a B? Because it's important to me. I want to get an A, man. I want to have a good GPA. I want to look good on paper because that's the most important thing in your life. Doesn't matter how good you actually are in person. Doesn't matter how driven you are. Doesn't matter how much you could potentially excel at something. All that people give a shit about to even get your foot in the door is how you look on paper. They don't care about anything else. That is why connect. I'm getting so, I'm getting really deep right now, like into really fucking life important shit, and I really shouldn't be. But god damn it, it blew my mind how fucking important just having the right connections are. Because you get, you know, somebody that may pass you up because on paper, you look like anybody else. But all you need is that one fucking voice. It's like, yo, that dude, no that dude. Good guy, great worker. He'll do you right. Suddenly your foot's in the door. Your paper doesn't even matter. So you either gotta look fantastic on paper or you gotta have a connection. And boy, I don't got no connections. So I gotta look good on paper. Damn it. Why can't I have been born a billionaire? Everything would be so much easier. <laughs>